Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, that storm system that's been out to our west for the past day or so now making steady progress through the Tennessee River Valley and up the Ohio River in our direction here this evening. You can see over my shoulder the gloomy skies from high atop Karoo Tower and you can see those clouds beginning to lower with that area of rain off in the distance there. Temperatures will hold steady though close to 50, so all things considered, at least it's going to be a mild January wet night across the area. Here's a look on radar right now. North and east of the Ohio River, the rain will take a a little bit longer to reach you as it's fighting a little bit of drier air, but to our south and west rain already spreading its way across much of northern Kentucky and southeast Indiana this evening from parts of Pendleton and Grant counties from Williamstown up towards Warsaw, then back over to around Versailles, the leading edge of this rain now basically from Aurora to rising sun to the 75 71 split back towards Falmouth. All right, we're 49 right now currently at the airport and there's milder air residing to the south of the Ohio River and over the upcoming weekend, not just tonight, but really through Sunday, we are going to see a nice push of southerly air. So that means our temperatures are going to stay unseasonably warm through at least early next week. Here's that system organizing tonight. You see the rain across parts of Indiana and Kentucky. The center of the storm still down here in southern Arkansas to the south of Little Rock or to the south and west of Memphis. It's basically going to ride right up along the Ohio River and bring a large shield of rain with it for a good soaking overnight tonight. Here's a look at future cash. You can see by 9 o'clock rain really overspreading all of the metro. Again, the farther north and east you are, it may be a little later into your dinner time hours. But overall, it's going to become a wet night across the area. Some of the rain could briefly come down heavy at times, especially right before the sun comes up tomorrow morning. I expect the rain to be wrapping up during the morning commute, so it will be a wet go Friday to start. You'll need to send the kids to the bus stop with the umbrella. You'll probably even need a little extra time for tomorrow morning's commute. But drier weather will work in during the late morning and early afternoon. And while there still could be a brief passing sprinkle or shower throughout the day, the bulk of the rain tomorrow, the wettest time will be the first half of the day. The second half of the day into your Friday evening looks dry, albeit gloomy. But get this, temperatures will be in the 50s. And a matter of fact, as we head into the weekend, highs will stay in the 60s with nighttime temperatures in the 50s. So very, very mild both by day and night. All right, we're expecting anywhere from about uh, a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall, a little bit less than what the model was looking at yesterday, but still a decent soaking. 48 tonight as it turns wet and stays mild. Temperatures hover near 50 and then for tomorrow morning rain, then drier. Look for a high up there around 61. Here's your day planner. Get this 51 at 8 a.m. Close to 60 by lunchtime and as drier weather takes hold. Looking at a pretty nice Friday evening if you're making plans. Look at this 65 on Saturday, low 60s on Sunday. I don't expect a lot of rain over the weekend and anything that falls should generally be brief, so it won't be an all day soaking here, but it looks cooler next week and if you're wondering about when winter is going to make a return right now. Sheree, all indications are that as we get towards the end of next week, we will see the pattern change to more typically cold January weather. All right, Kevin, thank you.